Greetings, so Alex Will 64. I wanted to come here to kind of explain why I have these two quotes from the Matrix Reloaded movie. Uh, definitely is talking about choice. And by extension, you have to be talking about preference as well. When you look at all your life events from the earliest that you can remember and those that you chose to forget or chose to have amnesia about, understand that this was all your desire. This is your choice to exist this way. This is where you are experiencing spiritual maturity when you choose to take responsibility, the ultimate responsibility for everything that has happened, will happen and has happened. It's happening now. You take full responsibility for all these events. Like the architect says in this movie, everybody was presented with a choice. You're responsible for the choice you made, even if it's at a near unconscious level, meaning you didn't have to make this choice like a, a human does. You made this choice from a, a, a higher level of your existence, a being. You made this choice for yourself. So th that matrix thing only exists to accommodate your choice. And then uh, the Oracle earlier in the movie says, you already made the choice. You and you came here to un understand why. And this goes back to true education. So all the events that occur over the course of your life was there to draw out you, drawn everything out about you for you to understand your choice, which means understanding who you are to make that choice. This is who you are. This is the path of know thyself. Knowing the knower is the basis of all knowledge. So when we go on this t particular path of gnosis, this is what we're doing. We're going back to the decision making process that precedes this entire physical existence. So, again, it's not you making any decision as a human being in this physical uh space or matrix you already made the choice here you're just living it out and for those who are on the path of know thyself and gnosis we retrace those steps to see why we made this decision we go through, we recognize the educational process taking place with the physical events that occur over the course of our lives i take full and ultimate responsibility for everything that has happened to me is happening to me and will happen to me it's all my choice. I have realized that I am the power, the source and the cause of my life's design. Do you do you feel how liberating that is to know that you can now get back into your executive decision making state within your own existence? Rather than delegate or relegating that position to something seemingly outside of you. I'm the one ultimately responsible for all of it. Not you, not anyone else. No systems, no nothing. I chose this for some particular reason. And now it's a duty for me to find out why I chose it. It's a liberating feeling. It's, this is the freedom. This is the whole real process of waking up and living your freedom and being conscious and woke and all this different other things. This is where it starts, getting back to your position as the executive cause and the decision maker and the one who chose this path. Know this. Gnosis. Think about where you are right now, physically, mentally, emotionally, spiritually. How, how did you get there and why are you there and what purpose does it serve of you being right where you are right now in life? This is the gnosis. This is knowing thyself. I get freedom by getting back to my decision making state. I hope the message helps. And do consider all the events that has occurred, is occurring and will occur. Do you think any of these events precede or come before your decision to experience them? They are subservient to your choice. Your paradigm, your choice, your paradigm, your preference. You chose this. Get back into that mind state of your decision making. Know thyself.